Formula One is basically my life, my world. I like to battle against the world fastest 19 other drivers, no other thing makes me happier than driving. When Formula One held its first Chinese Grand Prix in Shanghai, five-year-old Zhou Guanyu was in the stands cheering on his idol, Fernando Alonso. Now, Zhou is competing against Alonso after he became China's first full-time F1 racer last year. I really started to fall in love with racing my first ever attempt or try when I was a kid around seven years old. We went to an indoor go-kart track and I was actually very scared. I was sitting in the two-seated uh, go-kart my dad was driving. But then the first time I tried to absolutely fall in love with the sport and I really want to do it every weekend after schools. As a kid, I grew up having that dream. The most challenging part for me in Formula 1 is probably before the first race. A lot of people would stop about me, saying I won't be fast, I'll be last. But for me, I would just really focus. I knew I deserved to be there. And to get my first points in my first season is uh, amazing. Joe is a very, very talented driver. We have been following him from the junior category. We were fully convinced that he can be a very strong addition to our team. And he confirmed our expectation last year. Let's imagine a rookie coming to Formula One and being able to score points at various races. To have a Chinese driver of such a level is beneficial, not only for our team, but for the entire Formula One. China is F1's biggest market globally in terms of unique TV viewers, which reached over 70 million as of 2021. But that hasn't translated into comparable dollars for the franchise. The cancellation of the Chinese Grand Prix for a fourth straight year in 2023 has been another setback. But Joe's emergence might be the key to turning things around. Now in his second season, Joe has already attracted sponsorship deals from global brands. Any international sports coming to China, for it to truly become popular, it needs to have relevance. And nothing builds relevance like having your own superstar and champion to support. And we've seen that in other sports, basketball with the emergence of Yao Ming, tennis and Li Na, how those superstars on the global stage have really boosted the sport. And now we have Zhou Guan Yu on the grid of Formula One, that will also stimulate commercial interest. Hopefully when Formula One comes back to China next year, it will start to really reap the rewards and grow the popularity. For me to be the first Chinese or the only Chinese in F1, I definitely see what's happened back home. It's been quite incredible seeing how many people that are staying up late to watch the Grand Prix. And now all we need is a Grand Prix in front of the home crowd because there's so many like new fans who doesn't know anything about motorsports is now actually getting into that, watching or try to understand F1. Traditionally, it costs quite a lot of money to develop a driver from a young age. An increasingly wealthy middle class will mean you'll have a growing community that will be interested in their children, perhaps becoming Formula One drivers. There will be many, many Chinese people competing in motorsport and Formula One in the future. I'm only optimistic that things can get better from here.